All right, cool. So how do you see the fight playing out with them and Sarang Visai? Uh, I mean, first of all, it's going to be fireworks. It's going to be an absolute war. Sarang Visai is always in a tough fight. He's a super, super tough veteran fighter. And I mean, Bam is just, he's special. He is special from his mindset to the way he fights to, to his, his belief in himself. So, um, you know, I, I'm looking to see it's going to be youth first, first uh, experience. You know, it's going to be... It's a, it's a great step-up fight for, for Bam. Um, I'm super impressed with him coming off a super tough fight against a much more experienced guy to step in with another guy of, of the same same ilk is uh, is very impressive for a young 22 year old world champion. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't I don't I, I don't want to make any predictions, but I got fireworks. Well, what do you think he, he has to do to to get the win? I think he has to I think he has to be aggressive early. He needs to get respect. Um, he needs to set a pace that is going to keep Rung Basai on his back foot and, um, and and just be careful in exchanges. You know, I, I think he has all the tools to be champion for a long time and, and, and multiple division champion, but man, Rung Basai is, is no easy touch for anyone in the division. He's one of the top guys in the sport, so um, God, still have to be careful. Do you think the long layoff of Rung Basai is going to come into, is going to be a factor? It could, but with a guy with that much experience and with that many fights, um, it really it might, might not be, good be an for issue. Him. Might, yeah, it might be good to let his body rest and, and um, have some time off. He's been in a lot of tough fights. So, um, I don't know. I, for a guy with that kind of veteran experience, I don't think uh, a layoff is, is going to play that much role. Okay, so you think it might benefit him? It could. It potentially could. You know, you never know. It depends how, how he's been living in between. He looks like he's in great shape. Um, so, we shall see. Okay, and the Canelo... Uh, Triple G fight. How do you see that playing out I this got third Canelo. time? I got Canelo. I love Triple G. I think he's a great fighter. They're both great fighters, but um, I think Canelo is just on a, uh, in a different place in his career right now. I think between age and the weight, the weight is a big issue, which I don't think a lot of people are talking about. You know, they're fighting at 68. Oh. Canelo obviously fought at 175 when he lost to Bibble on his last fight, back down to 168. Triple G's never fought at 68. So the fact that they're going to be competing there is. Uh, Do you think the much. age will also be a factor? Could be. It could be. You know, it, it's one of those things. Age is age is funny. It it, it, it creeps up. So um, you know, it, Triple G's looked good in his last few fights, and but you know that that age gap is real. Thirty nine is is a number. You know, and, and I think Canelo is thirty one. And at thirty two. Yeah. So he's still in his physical prime. But um, but a guy like Triple G, you can never you can never you can never count him out. It's two of the best chins in boxing too, facing each other. So there's always that factor. Do you think that Canelo might have a chance to knock him out this time since it's at a higher weight? You know, I mentioned the chins. Uh, it's possible, um, especially based on what I've seen in the last couple of fights between the two of them. Canelo is really coming into his power, um, and Triple G. Looked a touch slow in the early rounds against Murata. Mm -hmm. So if he comes out slow like that, Canelo has an opportunity to, to rush him and, and potentially get a stoppage. And what I is, would be surprised, though. What does Triple G have to do to, to avoid that, to get the win? He's got to start fast. He's got to start fast. He's got to get on that jab early. He's got one of the best jabs in boxing, one of the most active and accurate jabs in boxing. Um, I think if he, if he can get on that early, as long as he starts quickly and doesn't allow... Canelo likes to... Throw combinations, power, explode, sprint, and then he likes to rest and, and, and catch his breath and do it again. Um, and if he controls the pace, it's going to be a really long night for Triple G. Okay, so you just got to like put on the pressure and, and not... Get on early, get that jab going, and, and not let Canelo rest. Because Canelo wants to rest and then sprint. And what does Canelo have to do to him? Canelo needs to set the pace. He needs to set the pace. He needs to control the pace. Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't need it to be a, a, a blistering fight. He can he can set the pace, use his jab, use his defense, um, use his counters, and he counters with combinations. It makes him really difficult to deal with. So, um, yeah, I think I think it's it's going to be all about pace for those two. And what about having like a double header here with Bam and Josh? Do you think that's that would be that'd be a badass show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you have you seen Josh fighting? Yes, I've have called a couple of fights. Called a fight with uh, uh with with Maloney, um, uh, in the in the bubble, mm -hmm. and uh, and he's a he's a phenomenal fighter as well. So the the two of them, uh, I call them the brothers Grimm because they're, <laughs> they're they're quiet they're bad dudes. 
they're quiet, but they're, they're badasses. They're quiet, but they're badasses, yes. <laughs> um, how do you see Josh versus Estrada playing out? So they Dude, got very another, similar styles. That's another fight. That's a, a similar, similar to this one. Um, guy who's been around forever. I mean, Estrada's one of the best fighters literally in the world. Um, I'm curious to see what what Josh can do in that fight. That's that's an awesome fight too. And then if that double header does happen, which one would you who would you like to see versus Bam on that one? <sighs> Man, maybe um, Chocolatito. I mean, I, I think that's the fight. Martinez. He wants. I think I think Chocolatito is the fight that he wants. Um, yeah, that kid is wasting no time. He wants the biggest, best guys in the division. Which, <laughs> yeah. listen, I tip my hat to. The kid's got big balls too. Yeah, since uh, Chocolatito just beat um, another young fighter, Martinez. Mm -hmm. So Bam trying to go right into it also. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to be he's, a great. He's, he's trying to waste no time. He said, it. I, want, he has, I want to be a legend in this sport. So you got to do stuff like that. And all right. Well, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you.